Saturday. Happy Saturday. We're going to Dumbo first. Done with Dumbo, and you know what's right by Dumbo. We have to pay a visit, which works out perfectly because Teddy needs a diaper change, and James he might need to cool off a little bit. Apologies for that kind of hectic intro there. So it's the weekend, we're at Magic Kingdom. Um, I actually got up and did a long run. I've had a very consistent running week. I ran five times this week, not high mileage, but was making sure the priority was just getting out today but I, I did run nine miles today and then Sarah hung out with the boys at home we had good breakfasts Sarah got us Tron virtual queue which was a goal of ours before we did embryo transfer and so we have to go get set up for baby swap because our group got called after Dumbo and I think Sarah and the boys are gonna get a snack well I wait in the queue and then I'll grab the boys and Sarah can just hop through the lightning lane oh my goodness the day is finally here I feel like we've just been out of the the loop or like I don't know like we just haven't there it goes we just haven't been on it yet we haven't prioritized it and so it feels like we've just been these like, like yeah but very excited I wish we were doing it at night uh -huh. but maybe we'll be so enthralled with it that we're like we have to do this again at night I think as Peter mentioned we're want to make sure that we got this in before our embryo transfer mostly for me you'll be able to ride it any day um, but I think we really didn't want to like pick and choose time we just joined the queue and, and we're hopeful we didn't want to wait until the afternoon because we didn't want to risk not getting it oh yeah you can see the castle so yeah that's why we didn't prioritize a time but we can always come back it's not going anywhere it took them long enough to build it. I don't think it's going anywhere <laughs> in the next hundred years. Yeah. You can't see it great, but it's so cool to see the train right here. So the vistas underneath the ride are so cool. Like you can see Space Mountain, see Bay Lake Tower. Continuing this way, you can see Astro Orbiter. And then come out on the other side by Space Mountain. It's just such a cool view. All right, we had a magical moment. And when we set up rider swaps, I think it was because there was just the two of us, each going to go once, that they act not only set up lightning like rider swap, but they also gave us both lightning lanes. So usually one person would have to wait in the standby queue, and the other person would then wait with the children and then go lightning lane. But he was super nice and gave us both lightning lanes. So Sarah's so not even going to go get food yet, she's just going to hang out over there. And hopefully lightning lane is quick, and I'll just hop in, enjoy, hop out, and then Sarah can go. Oh, well, that's a super cool thing. Never been over here. Pretty jazz. Pretty excited. Look at that. Ooh, this is so cool. I hope I don't miss anything by being lightning lane, but Team Blue users, yes. Sudden drops and stops. Holy cow! Look at this. For your safety, remain seated on your light cycle at all Wait till the door opens before actually fasten. Supervise young Team Blue users at all times. Users, prepare to be digitized into the world of Tron. Team Blue, welcome to the grid. Proceed to gates. 
Are you kidding me? Oh, I didn't know I needed this in my life. Oh my God. We're watching Tron tonight. Yes, we are. Both, I think. I can't handle this. While Peter Road, I did a little <laughs> rendezvous around Tomorrowland to see if I could find that darn Mickey hat. And so many of you have sent me in on Shop Disney, which is probably what I'll end up doing. I just haven't seen it. I think I can get my DVC discount on Shop Disney, uh, but obviously I'll have to pay for shipping or whatever. But that might be the option. Makes me hope a little come back in stock. Um, if you haven't, if you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm looking for that like classic black Nike, just like plain Mickey Mouse hat Peter used to have. I've been trying to surprise him with it since Father's Day. So don't mention it in the comments, but yeah, I might just end up ordering it. I'm assuming it'll come back in stock eventually. Every cast member I've talked to just said they just, they haven't had shipment. Okay, that was so good. I think that it's gonna be 2X better at nighttime, but that was very, very good. Tim Green? Ooh. That's fun. What did you, what did you think? So good. Yeah. I think it would be twice as good at night. You do? Yeah, but. I expected and I love it. Yeah? Yeah, I can't wait for you to go on that. Hello. Go ahead. Thank you. Have fun on your race. Thank you. The AC is so nice in here. Got her. That was mommy, guys. Beautiful day. Got nine miles in this morning. We're at Magic Kingdom having the time of our life. Gonna right. live stream later. I got the most beautiful, wonderful family in the whole world. What'd you think of Tron? I loved it. I thought it was, I've heard so much that it was short. Like, I thought it was short, but it was actually shorter than it was. So it was like a pleasant surprise because I thought it was gonna be even shorter. Still short, Teddy but not as short. Wants to escape, so well, I'm just, we're just, we're doing our best. Sarah and Peter from the future. I'm gonna put this clip in after Tron. I feel like we never said what we really thought about it. It was great. It was great. I thought it was gonna be shorter. Like, I feel like that's like been the big thing. It's like, it's so short. But because I had that in my mind, <laughs> I was like, oh, this is longer than I expected. What'd you like best about it? The building, inside the building. Really? I yeah. thought you were gonna say the music. That too. <laughs> and, I love that I was able to see you guys on it. That was so cool. There was another thing. I really liked the storyline. Like, I didn't expect... I don't want to, like, get... We were saying this on the live stream, because we had a two-hour live stream tonight, which I'll link here, that we don't know if we should say spoilers, but, yeah, it's it's a great ride, and the storyline is cool. Like on it again? Hopefully at night. Yes. <laughs> Whoa, Teddy. <laughs> this is our little lunch. Peter and I are gonna split this little salad. We're also gonna split that impossible patty melt over there. We divvied up the kids. their chicken strips and a cutie and french fries. There's the melt. Plant-based melt. Possible with some slaw. After lunch, Buzz seems to only be a 15 minute wait, so we're gonna hop on that. Because it's a Jamesy favorite. When was the last time we did standby for Buzz? It's a long, long time ago, days. But it's only 15 minutes. Right. We're gonna get people over. James saw this and I was like, and then it was only 15. So we're doing it. Yeah. Sector Nine, Planet Z. I don't know if James has ever been in the standby queue for this. Yeah. Help you? Help you with what, babe? Press the buttons. Boop, 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 boop. 
We got Buzz. <laughs> wow. That was joyous. Push this button. Okay, you spin us. Whoa. Oh, gosh. I'm the closest I've been in forever. I got 707. Oh, hi, Teddy. This is the TTA Blue Line. Non stop service around the world. You did it! <laughs> That's a cold breeze. Yeah. There's the clouds rolling in. Look, there's even a tiny people mover. It's raining. Even though we came prepared, we're still heading out. So we got a whole we evening. This way yeah, we came prepared. We had planned this way, and we had a super successful Magic Kingdom. Yeah. Did a lot more than we expected. Tomorrowland was our best friend today. Yeah, it was great. Teddy needs a nap. James needs a nap. James needs a nap. Ow. I gotta edit. I got a live stream, so we're gonna go home. Get a good day. This is what you call a busy kid. He's literally just like stacking different things into different bowls, kind of making it messy. But he's just so content and he feels like he's such an omission. I just love when this stage in child development comes out. So I'm just watching him. Yeah, you, are you packing it up? Some spices, some Evie's treats and medicine. Uh-oh. Oh, right back at it. Also, James woke up from woke up from his nap, but then he fell back asleep in the couch, and something very important just arrived. If you were wondering, this dude's still really busy. Wow, wow that's so cool. Uh -huh. <laughs> A package arrived. This is what arrived, and it's very important because it works. Wait for it. With this, which I don't know if we showed in the vlog, the final component to our bugaboo donkey. <sighs> this seat can come up so it can just be a standing board. This is going to be James's first, but then future children like Teddy and others will use it as well. Seems super silly, kind of, but it's like the culmination of all these years of Sarah and I growing our family after the crazy journey that we went through to start our family to now have a baby that's big enough to be using this and needing this component because we have another baby who's still going to be using the seat in the front so we'll have a baby in the front and then we'll have the kickboard for James to be on and then ideally after this embryo transfer we'll have another baby so we can use it so it can be a single with Teddy sitting with the bag that we used to have with a kickboard with James. And then when we have another baby, we can have a bassinet, Teddy in a seat still, and James in the kickboard. The ultimate bugaboo donkey configuration. We finally have the components for. There it is, friends. The kickboard. And that, like I said, that seat pops off if we just want it to be standing. Sarah's trying to get Teddy in here. <laughs> See, it's not for me yet. 
So then Teddy will go here. If I mean, we can have both seats right now in case we want both kids to be snoozing at the park. But if we want to, we can bring this down to one so that it's smaller and the bag can go here. Teddy can go here. James can go there. And then when baby number three comes, you're going to have Teddy, Bassinet, James. Uh, hashtag blessed. Hashtag blessed is right. All right, it's late. Mm -hmm. It's 12.01. I know, that's like kind of... Like where you, when we used to say that, it would be like 3 a.m. Yeah. <laughs> but it is late. And We're we want to have now. And we want to have an early morning. It's a so. long day. I yeah. ran nine miles this mm -hmm. morning. And Teddy, who is like typically our late riser, was up at six. He just wanted to hang out. And he was so mad that you were leaving to go on your run, which was sweet but sad. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>